Hey guys, welcome to another Let's Play on my channel, uh, and this one is going to be of a game that's still in its alpha stages. Um, it's actually called Prison Architect, and basically what you do in this game is you build a prison from the ground up, and you maintain your prisoners, you uh, make sure that they're you know well fed, you could basically run it more or less like a hotel keep everyone ha happy or like a maximum security prison and keep everyone in lockdown all the time and deal with prison riots and everything so it's kind of a pretty neat uh, concept of a game it's kind of a little bit of a mix between like sim city and the sims uh, in that you have to kind of pay attention to everyone's needs but you're also building up a giant prison so it's it's a pretty neat spin on the whole uh, you know tycoon game and the nice part about it being an alpha usually you know alpha games are like oh no that's gonna be terrible there's gonna be a ton of bugs yes there's bugs but uh, the nice part about this game is every time you turn around they're releasing new content for, for it so uh, there's there's basically you're, you're not gonna get bored with this game I don't think uh, because they keep adding things um, they're on alpha 23 now it came out in its first alpha stages in 2012, so it's been an alpha for a while, but um, that's kind of enough yakking on my part. Uh, we're actually going to get started, so we're at the main menu right now, uh, and we're going to create a new prison. So we're going to go here, we're going to pick, it really doesn't matter what you pick as far as land size goes, because you can always expand on it. Um, it does cost money to expand, but it's actually not that much in the grand scheme of things. Um, we're going to play on medium just so that we have a little bit of extra land starting out. Um, the defaults here, fog of war, basically if you don't have a guard or a CCTV camera you won't be able to see what's going on in that area. Which is, it makes the game significantly harder. I don't know how it's going to make the let's play of the game because we're not going to be able to see what's going on. But we're going to leave it on. Um, if we run into problems, maybe we'll, you know, restart with it off, but I think playing with it on is going to be make for some interesting gameplay. Um, continuous intake. Basically, continuous intake means you don't have a choice. No matter what, every 24 hours you're going to get new prisoners, whether you like it or not. We're going to leave that off. That way we can, you know, if we don't want prisoners, we can hold steady at how many we have. Um, generate forest. That, um, basically, you can... Uh, have your prisoners work for you once you discover prison workforce you can either have them make license plates make furniture uh, and the forest will basically um, be trees so that they can build the furniture we're gonna turn that off it's just gonna clutter up the map uh, you can kinda see in the background here there's some trees um, that's basically what generate forest would do it would generate large clumps of trees we're gonna leave uh, generate lakes and generate buildings off basically that would be um, lakes are just you know obviously lakes on your map and buildings would be random buildings that are there that we could repurpose uh, failure conditions uh, I don't think we're gonna turn these on we're gonna turn them off basically if we go too far in depth depth or we have too many deaths or escapes uh, we basically lose the game I don't plan on letting that happen but I'm not gonna turn this on and you know just get kicked out for no reason so we're just gonna play with fog of war here we'll hit play it'll generate the map um, so I'm gonna pause it real quick and spacebar or your time controls over here will pause it and so since we turned off the generate forest there's actually no trees on the map which is kind of inconvenient um, but whatever uh, everything's gonna arrive by these supply trucks coming down the road so you can see this one has uh, all of our workers on it so it's gonna come here to deliveries everything that we get into the prison comes to deliveries um, garbage obviously is garbage so everything's gonna get dropped off here and kinda of picked up over here which isn't bad but what I like to do is I go to the rooms here because that's where you can designate you know your deliveries your garbage all of the other stuff that we're gonna use throughout the game um, and I like to move garbage down one. Uh, that way we have this nice four wide intake here. Uh, 
which is going to be handy in a second. The other thing I like to do before we just jump in and start building things is I like to go to this little planning mode that they have. And this will let you put up walls, objects, pathways before you even build it. That way you're not wasting money because money, I mean, it's a significant thing in this game. If you don't have money, you're kind of screwed. So we have 30000 to start. We have $840 coming in every day. Um, and if we go to reports here, you can kind of see uh, there's our staffs. We have no prisoners. We're actually going to turn this off because we don't want to get any prisoners in 23 hours. We don't want to get prisoners until we're actually ready for them. Uh, jobs, that'll tell us what people are waiting to do. All these other things will be unlocked once we start building. Um, and you'll have to hire certain people to do certain things. So, But the main thing we want to look at is grants here. Now these grants will give you extra cash, so really we have more than $30,000 to start. If we want to build a basic detention center, we'll get a, another upfront $20,000 plus $10,000 when we complete it. Same thing with the administrative center and etc. So we're going to pick up a couple of these grants, but first we're going to start laying things out. Uh, but just to get a basic idea here. Um, these all have tasks, like this one. Build a holding shell, build a shower, build a yard, build a kitchen, build a canteen, have two guards and two chefs. Well, we're going to need to do that anyways, so we might as well pick this up. You can see it gives us all of our objectives right there, and it gave us 20 grand up front. Uh, let's look at these other ones. Now, you can have only two grants at a time until you get an accountant, so let's look at this. Administrative center, uh, we hire a warden, build two offices hire an accountant, and unlock finance. So we're going to do that anyways too. We might as well accept it. These other three we'll eventually get to. But for now, let's go ahead and roll with those two. Alright, so back to the planning stage. Now we have some objectives here. And we got some more cash up front. We've got a little bit more to come. 10000 here and 5000 there when we complete those. But uh, we're not ready to do that yet. So let's let's start planning. So we're going to start laying down some walls, and if this is the first time that you've played this game or you're looking at it, it can be a little bit tricky up front. Um, but I guess the thing is just stick with it like anything else and you'll, you'll have a good time. So I'm going to lay down walls, that's what the walls look like. Uh, objects can be anything from doors to TVs to whatever, it's just where you plan on putting stuff. I plan on putting a door right there. I plan on putting another door right there. That way we've got you know two layers of security before they just get out to the road. Now one thing I like to do and we're gonna kind of play around with this a little bit. I like to have the deliveries enclosed in a fence. That way you know it, you don't have things just getting dropped off at the road. So what we'll do is we're gonna go like this and actually I don't want to do that so if you ever make a mistake you can just right click and get rid of it but we're gonna move deliveries in by one so that I can put a fence around it so we'll go like this because we don't want to really decrease the size too much so that'll be fine and we'll do the same thing with garbage I know garbage seems like you know kind of a pointless thing but who knows, they could be hiding in garbage bags. I don't really think they do that in this game, but if they were, we really wouldn't want them uh, outside the perimeter. Uh, let's go like this, and I'm going to make that one one larger. I see I made a mistake there. And same thing with deliveries. Let's see. We're going to move that up one space. There we go. I want to make sure they have plenty of room to drop stuff off. And... Let's see materials. Whoops, nope, not materials. We want planning still. So right click and mess that up. So just go ahead and go like that. Okay, so we've got our garbage, we've got our deliveries. Um, now it says walls, but walls could also be a fence, so we're fine. Uh, I'm going to put a door here going into each and that way they don't have to go to the outside. If they ever want to go in here, they're secured within that. So that's fine. Let's see, what else are we going to need? Let's go to our rooms list. We need a holding cell, 
And the things outlined in white are what we need to complete our um, basic detention center and our administrative center. Um, we need some, a shower, yard, holding cell, canteen, kitchen. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit more planning. And guys, this episode is probably going to be a lot of planning. I know we're already at like 10 minutes of me just talking about the game. And we haven't really played it yet. But uh, the most important thing in this game is to plan out what you're going to do. Because you're going to waste a ton of money if you don't plan first. Um, so let's see. We can do... We want to get some offices for our staff, and the minimum size on an office, if you're ever wondering, uh, if you hover over something, it'll tell you what it requires. So this, for example, the cleaning cover, minimum size, 3x3, three three, office, 4x4. Four four. So let's go back to planning. We know we need at least two offices for our staff that we're going to hire, uh, for the warden and the accountant. So let's go ahead and go to planning, go to walls. And we're going to put our offices, I like to make them right along this outer wall here. Because there's really no reason for anyone else, so that's, that's 4x4. There's really no reason for anyone else other than your staff to come to the offices. And there's no reason to let prisoners get to them, I don't think. Um, there's some training programs later on that do require that, but when we get to that point, we'll change this up a little bit. So there's our two offices. I know in total I'm going to need five offices. We're going to need one for the warden, one for the chief, one for the foreman, one for our psychologist, and one for the accountant. And once we have an office for every one of those guys, then most of these um, will become highlighted and we'll actually be able to see a lot more information about our prison. So I'm just going to pre-plan it out. If we were actually building all this, I definitely wouldn't do this yet. Um, because you need to stay small at first. But since we're just planning, we can go ahead and lay out room for all five offices. So then we're going to do doors in each one of these. There we go. Okay, the other thing we're going to need to plan for is power and water. So for power, we need a 5x5 uh, five five square, basically. Now, you can't build on the edge of the map, so the design I'm about to use is not 100% efficient. Um, I'll show you exactly what I mean in a second here. So if we go 5x5 five five for the power, the power um, input actually is only 3x3, three three, so it'll be that, but then you can put capacitors all around it, but not on the corners. So, we can't put capacitors here. We also can't put capacitors along this wall, so that's not 100% efficient, but at least we don't have to have it here where we want our main prison. Uh, the other thing is we're going to need water, so we'll go ahead and the water is just 3x3. Three three. Uh, eventually we'll want another power unit, so I'll put room for that right here with another 5x5. Five five. Now the power units cannot touch each other. Um, if they do, they'll overload. You don't want that. So put them a decent amount apart. Um, all right, so we've got our plans for our power going. Uh, let's see, what else? We know we're going to want probably a nice little hallway here. So we'll just kind of drag that out so we can get a decent size going. Um, let's see, we're going to want a storage room. And I like to make the storage room, um, basically they're going to take everything from deliveries and move it to storage. So it's a good idea to make it a decent size. So 10 by 10 should be plenty big for storage. And we're going to need a wall, or not a wall, but a door rather, that goes into deliveries from that. So once we actually start building, building guys, it'll, you know probably get a lot more interesting but it, like I said it's very important to plan ahead so uh, let's see what else we're gonna need a workshop eventually for all our people to work in and we want the workshop to be uh, let's see well let's just make it like that for now and I'm gonna do some sketching we're gonna want tables along the walls the tables are four high and one wide we're going to want saws along this bottom, so the saws are three wide. 
that's only three so we need to come out two more here it looks like and then I'll show you exactly what I have planned Ooh. go ahead and do that go ahead and wipe all that out so if we do four along this wall three for a saw three more and it looks like we definitely came out way too far now um, but you know that's why we're doing this guys that way we can get the right sizes on these rooms so go like that and these should be here we actually don't want that much space there we want like that so looks like we were really only one off let's double check that materials objects and we'll show all here work press is oh it won't show us no I hope it's only three wide I'm pretty sure it's only three wide uh, if it's four I'm gonna be pretty upset <laughs> but uh, I should mention guys this is only my second time playing this game so uh, I may or may not suck at it uh, I'm hoping that I don't so <laughs> I guess that's something but all right so let's plan this workshop all out two three four now we want a total of ten of these on each side so like that that's five six seven eight nine ten okay now obviously we're not going to be able to afford to put you know all of these in place at once but like I said we're planning this is for future expansion we, we don't wanna you know box ourselves in here and you know it's, it's well the, the name of the game is prison architect and that's pretty accurate I mean you're definitely an architect in this game you have to think before you just throw down some walls I mean could we just throw down walls and pray for the best yeah we could um, I'm not gonna do that because I don't think it's very smart but uh, yeah we could do that so let's see um, I think what we're gonna do here honestly let's take a look because we're gonna make this area inside here our kitchen and I'm doing this for two reasons um, everything that gets delivered here is going to need to come into the storage so that's why we want to put this as close to our storage as possible for the workshop the same thing with the kitchen all the food that gets delivered is going to need to come in through the storage as well so I'm putting the kitchen uh, very close and this whoops sorry about that let's go here uh, the cookers are too wide and the refrigerators are too wide so if we do that um, that's plenty big for a kitchen uh, let's see we could put a cooker here one here we could actually do three rows of things cookers and fridges so I like to do cooker fridge cooker fridge like that and all the way up so two four six eight ten that's probably a little much I mean obviously this is a ton of cookers we won't need this when we're first starting out but it's good to plan ahead that way we don't have to come back later and be like well whoops we screwed up um, we're gonna want to put a wall here as well um, actually we can actually come up a couple let's see like that maybe Maybe like that, because above this is going to be our canteen. And we want a pathway here. So let's see. We'll go like that. And look at this. It's kind of just planning itself. There we go. So that's a decent size for a starter canteen there. Uh, this will be our doors to go into the canteen. This will be our doors to go into the workshop. So we're pretty good good there um, let's see we also need other than the cookers and the fridges in here we also need sinks sinks are three wide I believe maybe four uh, let's let's go to the tape and uh, see for a sink it is whoops click on it 
it's three wide. So won't place that yet. We'll go back to planning. So we could put one sink here, and we could put probably one sink here. That should be fine. And then we'll put a door right there for our kitchen. Serving tables, which, you know, they make the food here. Actually, we could put another set of these in. Serving tables are what they're going to put the food out on. Serving tables are four by one, and they have to go in your canteen. So we could put one right here. We could put another right here. And then we could put eventually one here and one here. And that should be plenty of room for them uh, to serve the food. Uh, let's see. We also need tables in here. Tables are, let's see, tables are four wide as well. So let's see. go to objects here. So if the table's four wide, benches are... Basically you've got bench, table, bench. So we could do that uh, and not really hurt anything. Then we could have one here and one here like that. And then another group of them right there. Another group right there. Um, and we could have one here and one here. And that'll be a, a pretty nice size starting canteen. Um, I'm just wondering if maybe we want to turn these because there's a lot of wasted space right here. So let's let's see. What if we go like that? Yeah, I like that better. Um, that way there's a nice little walkway in between the two. And, you know, so we've, we've got a lot planned out right now, guys. And let's see. We've got, let's go to our room list. We've got, we don't have a shower yet. We don't have a yard. We do have the canteen and the kitchen planned out. We have a workshop, which won't be for a while. We have storage planned out. Um, let's see. We're going to need visitation and stuff, but we can do that down here. We've got our offices planned out already, so that's good. Uh, a holding cell is going to be important, and so is a shower. So let's work on that right now. Um, planning. Let's see, walls. Now, I don't like using the holding cells. I, basically, it's a bunch of prisoners crammed into a tight space, and you know eventually they're going to get super upset with each other. So, really don't like them, but we're going to just throw one down because we have to to complete this. Um, so, what I'm going to do is the holding cell and the shower, we'll just divide this in half. The top half will be the shower, the bottom half will be the, sh the holding cell, and I know that looks like a huge shower, but it comes down to planning ahead. For 10, 15 prisoners, yeah, this is going to be a huge shower, but, you know, when we have 100 prisoners, this is going to be really not big at all. Um, I like to put these walls up so that I can put, you know, a shower head on each one of them, and they get a little bit of privacy from one another kind of like role playing. Really, I could just put showers all along the edge of the room. I could even put them all in the middle of the room and not have any walls at all. But, you know, that's kind of, eh, I don't know. I, I just like to do it this way. I, I think they deserve a little bit of self-respect, even though, um, you know, they are prisoners. So we'll put some doors here. Um, basically, my plan right now is to have a holding cell right here. Uh, we'll have this door on the holding cell right there. Um, so they'll come out of the holding cell, go into the shower, come out of the shower, go into the, the food, and do what they need to do. Um, obviously, there's going to need to be a fence or something back here because they can't just, you know, run off the map. So, but that comes later. We, we still need to plan. Uh, what else do we need? We're going to need a place for our staff to rest. And I know that's not one of these objectives here, but it's going to be soon. So we'll plan ahead a little bit. We're going to need a, sta a place for the staff to rest. And we're going to need an infirmary, just in case any of our um, prisoners get hurt. So we'll just bring that out to there for symmetry. Uh, and we'll just... Uh, you know what? Let's go like this. We'll make this the infirmary, 
and this is our going to be our staff lounge basically. So hopefully I remember all this since I'm not labeling these rooms. You can't really label rooms uh, like you can like deliveries and storage or not storage but deliveries and uh, garbage until you have the actual walls up. So that's why I'm not doing that. But I think we're getting a good start here guys. Um, I'm going to throw in some more of these plans here that way we just know exactly what we're going to do. Um, and then we're going to throw some tables down this side. There's four right there. Four. Four. That's not how I want that. I want this to be close to that door like that. And then actually we can fit another whole table in if we do that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So basically on this side, we just bring it straight down like that. Have a nice little gap there. There's not going to be a door there, but just for symmetry's sake, uh, we'll do that. All right, that's looking pretty good for a start, I think. Uh, let's see, what did we miss? We don't have a yard yet. We've got our shower planned out. We've got our kitchen canteen planned out, our warden's office. I think we're almost ready, guys. Let me throw down a yard, and a yard is one of the few things that you can actually place. Actually, let's get a path here. That way we know exactly what we're doing. That's going to be a path. This will be a path. We'll have a nice little path here. And one going this way. So there's our path. Um, let's see, for a yard, I'm not thinking huge. I'm thinking, well, let's just go out this way a little bit. I'm thinking maybe like this size for a yard maybe like that this would be the yard then um, I think that will work out pretty well then we can put the cell blocks all around the yard um, yeah I could make it a little bigger but I don't think that's necessary right now um, what I like to do in the yard since we're not gonna label this just yet um, I don't put a fence around the yard for, first of all I let them wander into it cuz you know why not um, but I do like to put some toilets in the yard just so you know if they're they're you know doing their thing in the yard they'll have places to you know stop take a break maybe use the bathroom there we go so we'll put a toilet here 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 and one more there uh, this will be like the deluxe toilet stall um, but this will all be a yard inside here guys so that's looking pretty good to me uh, same thing with the holding pens. I like to put some toilets in here. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll, have, we'll just put two in there for now. Um, and then the rest of this will just be open. Uh, let's see. What else? We're coming up on 30 minutes for the video, guys, and I don't know how interested you guys are going to be in watching me draw this all out, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and let's see. Uh, probably going to want to make some buildings here. We're probably going to want to put visitation near the front and probably our classrooms for teachers near the front so let's kind of plan this out a little bit more and then we'll call it a uh, video at that point uh, for visitation I'm gonna do uh, we'll do three wide we'll, we'll make them we'll make the visitors think that this is a super nice prison uh, so they'll have a nice little hallway to come down and then this is where they'll meet with their families uh, as far as the classrooms go, I think oops, I don't want to do that. I want to use this wall right here. Uh, I think that should be good. Let me do some sketching here. I like to have 20 desks in the classroom. Desks are like that size, so. Whoops. So we need to go one more. Because we need to have a couple rows of five. Let's see. So. If that's desk, that's a desk, that's desk, that's a desk. So we'll put a wall here instead. Ah, mistakes. Okay, so that's going to be a pretty decent sized classroom there. Um, and eventually we'll want to have two of those. Uh, not quite yet, but 
we might as well lay down the foundation for one. That way we get our spacing right. So much of this game is just planning ahead. Um, there we go. Okay, so those will be our two classrooms. We'll just have regular doors on there. Not Well, not regular doors. Prison doors. Because we're in a prison. So, they get a lot of luxuries in my prisons, but, you know, they're still going to have prison doors. <laughs> Sorry, but uh, that's kind of non-negotiable. Uh, let's see. So... Uh, somewhere here, and I'm thinking right about here, we're going to want metal detectors. That way they catch everyone that's, you know, people think, bring things in through visitation. Uh, anyone that's new into the prison, they'll have to come down this way, down this long hallway, so they'll get caught in our metal detectors. The other place we're going to want metal detectors is over here, um, because people like to steal things from the workshop. They also love to steal knives and forks and stuff from the canteen, so if we can catch everything all at once, that would be great. If this is our infirmary, uh, we can also maybe catch some people coming out of that with stuff. I don't know if needles set off metal detectors, but... Um, you know what? No, screw it. Let's let's just put this here. That'll be our metal detector for there. Um, so that's looking pretty good to me, guys. Uh, the only other thing we need to do is put in a fence around this entire thing, uh, where we don't have any buildings yet. That way, no prisoners can just you know run off. So I think what we'll do, guys, is I'll end this recording here. This is all the planning that we've done so far, and. Uh, next episode what we'll do is we'll start actually building and uh, this is actually how you play the game guys if if this doesn't seem like something that's gonna interest you uh, with planning stuff out that's actually what drew me to the game is that you could you know kind of be an architect plan things out um, and make it look exactly like you want if this isn't the game for you it's not the game for you but uh, yeah so next uh, episode we're gonna actually start building guys so uh, until then, I'll see you guys next time.